Two phones to get unboxed today. This is the S100 from Doogee. And I also have the S100 Pro. Doogee are makers of rugged phones. And this is gonna be really quite interesting. I have previously bought you this is the V30T. And one of the standout features of this is the massive battery life. This has a about 10,000 milliamp hour battery. I charged this before I went away recently and it was on standby for, well, it's been on standby for a week now, over a week now, because I went away on a Friday and this is a Monday a week later and it's on 83 percent battery which is absolutely stupendous I'm sure you'll agree it's not done much I haven't had much screen on time with it but it sat on standby at this level of <laughs> this level of battery for that amount of time these two phones differ slightly from the V30T because they have a different chipset they have very very similar specifications on paper and it took me a while to figure out exactly what the difference is between this and the V30T but the S100. The S100 has the Helio G99 chip from MediaTek and that is the standout difference in that that is a more gaming orientated chip than the V30T which is more of a kind of productivity orientated chipset. This time it's the yellow back, but it does have a pretty similar look to the V30T. Let's go ahead and do the screen protector that comes in the box with it now. I think I've got any trapped dust this time. I haven't been all that careful at the very bottom here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the first setup done, but I'm gonna get that done off camera later on. So the specification is a 10,800 milliamp hour battery, 20 gigabytes of RAM, well it's actually 12 plus eight that it uses of the actual storage, 256 gigabytes actual memory of ROM, disk space if you like, an excellent IPS screen. And what they're sort of suggesting these for, mainly these two phones, are they are the kind of gaming variety of the DG phone because as you can see, they look pretty darn similar to the V30T. I'm gonna go ahead and, and do all this stuff later on. But in the meanwhile, I'm gonna also unbox its sibling, a brand new phone on the market now, which is the S100 Pro. 256 gigabytes, 20 gigabytes, which is 12 plus eight gigabytes of RAM. The S100 Pro has a camping light. It has 20,000 milliamp hour battery. 20,200 milliamp hour battery. Is it? With a military standard 8110, again, protection that you can have there as well. This is an absolute, well, I thought the V32 was an absolute mammoth, but this one, wow, that's big. Let's get that next to, this is the V32. You can see, oh, wow. That's just all battery. It doesn't actually, it's surprisingly not too much of a fuss in terms of its heaviness. One thing that I would think for them is guys like, you're applying to this thing in the factory, just, make this a screen protector. So why not just apply this in the factory? That is not another screen protector, but that might as well be a screen protector. That's 
phenomenal. And one of the greatest features about that is this camping light here at the back. Incredible cameras, 108 megapixel main camera, 20 megapixel night vision camera, and 16 megapixel ultra wide, and a 32 megapixel front camera as well. Side fingerprint recognition, always like that. 400 pounds. $400 is what the list price is here. 10% discount in the description if you look down there now. One thing I would just talk about is their marketing language. Well, they call it an outdoor super handy power station. Very nice. Powerful camping light. Multi modes illuminating. Five modes for using the high powered 130 lumens camping light to give you a convenient and practical experience. So 130 lumens camping light here. SOS mode, full brightness. You can have that camping light on for 18 hours on that battery light. You can recharge other electronic devices from it. Pro in every way. Bringing up this Helio G99, which is an ultra power processor, they're calling it. Six nanometer processor, 2.2 gigahertz, uh, eight cores of chips flagship level imaging system and it is a good camera. Although I think the software will be quite up to the flagships of some of the bigger companies. A full HD display or full HD plus because it's longer than a 16 by nine. 401 pixels per inch, 20 by nine aspect ratio and Gorilla Glass on the front. 120 Hertz screen. This is all shared specifications between the two. Lots of different colors to choose from. Go ahead and have a look in the description and have a look for yourself. So this is just an unboxing of the S100 and the S100 Pro. Two phones from Doogee, both of which are designed for the great outdoors, both of which are designed to be a bit indestructible, both of which in the marketing language say infinite performance awaken, which I do think they are S100, infinite performance awake, awaken. They are really going for this as being their, their gaming phone, which We'll have to try that one out with, certainly I'll try America. Let me know what other smartphone games you'd be interested to see. Both of which have 66 watt fast charging and you get a charger in the box, which is very nice. So that's just nice that they include that. It doesn't get included in quite a lot of boxes now. The difference is the massive camping light that you get on, you do get some little torches, LED torches here. A huge big camping light here on the Doogee S100 Pro and the battery is it's more than twice the size, but pretty much twice the size. So you're gonna get incredible battery life out of the S100 Pro. Both of them have got the dual speaker set up as well. Both of them have the full water resistance and military standard testing for their ruggedness. Well, that actually brings me to what I'm gonna do next with the S100 is I'm gonna test out how rugged this thing really is. So stay tuned for that. I've got a few tests in mind. The amazing difference is though, the S100 Pro has twice the battery of the S100 and the S100 already has twice the battery of most smartphones. So if you are looking for battery life, if you are looking for working in the great outdoors, then have a look into Doogee. Also has a little loop for something to hang on to, so in case you need to attach it, you can see it looks like it's in a case already, but that is not its case. That is just the phone itself. So, I mean, that's, impressively built design thing. And I'm surprised actually how that doesn't feel impossibly heavy, although it's not going to be just going into my jeans pocket anytime soon. Yeah, that's a bit much. If you were to wear that or keep that in a bag, it would be a useful thing to know that you're not going to run out of battery for those week-long expeditions. 